What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda. You want to see my favorite pen? Well, this Pilot G2 is one of my favorite pens. You've seen this uh, been done before, and that's because um, it's just a great writing pen. But I have showed you here that I found this site, Everyday Man, and I picked up three of these Grafton pens. And now the only one that I actually haven't shown you is this one in silver. And this is going to be more of a quick demo if you want to see the short version of what this is all about. So this Grafton pen is an aluminum pen, just absolutely gorgeous, has a custom pen look and feel that you would probably have to pay $70 to $100 to get. Now, I'm going to quick show you everything I've learned about these because this is my third one and I'm super excited about them, is that it comes with this little spring. And if you're going to use a Pilot G2 refill, you're going to want to take this little spring out and uh, use that with the pen. Now, first of all, let's just quick take a look at this pen. This is beautiful. It's a bright silver. I mean, I'm assuming it's just the bead blasted portion of the anodized aluminum or the uh, aluminum. I'm not sure if it's anodized. I guess it could be. Um, not ex yeah, but it seems like just kind of naked aluminum to me. Um, beautiful. It's kind of got a pencil uh, sharp uh, end here, ridges here for gri gripping. You can see when I twist it open here, this is where it breaks. Got uh, just a nice bead blasted finish, a nice angled beveled edge here, and then a rounded pusher up here. And then what's a little different on this one is that this is a silver and not quite as uh, bead blasted clip here. I don't think this is aluminum. I kind of guess this is steel, but it's a really stiff clip and then screwed down. But on both my space gray or the gunmetal and then my black one, the clip is black on both of those. So it's kind of nice that this has a look that uh, is kind of consistent all the way throughout. Now I want to open this up because I think it comes with a ballpoint um, refill already loaded and it says everyday man on it, but this is a Parker style ballpoint refill, which is absolutely fine. And the nice thing is you can still use this. You can replace this into your Pilot G2 pen so you don't lose any pens if you can't pick up the Pilot G2 refill directly if you're robbing it out of like one of these pens. Now, my tip on this is to take out uh, the refill here. And as you can see, it's a little longer and maybe you saw here, but this fell out, this little spacer on the top end here that takes up the extra space. So I'm gonna put those over here. And then I'm actually going to try to push out the spring that comes in the Pilot G2 because it's actually a little too big to use uh, conveniently with this thinner uh, ballpoint. So this is the spring that came in my Everyday Man pen. I'm gonna put that around here and I'm gonna put that in here. And then I'm going to take the spacer and I'm going to put that in the top end here. And then I'm gonna close this up. And spoiler alert, this makes it just a fine working ballpoint pen. So you can see that, all right? Um, now I'm gonna put that aside because I'm gonna take the spring that comes in the box, which is this one. Nope, this one. And I'm gonna put it on this pen. And you can see here, fits really nicely. I'm gonna slide it on here and then close everything back up here. Let's tighten everything down. And now, just like that, I have a smooth clicking, super fine, super fly uh, Grafton pen with my favorite refill in it, this beautiful Pilot Rollerball, which you can get everywhere. They are dirt cheap. And man, it's just, I'll be honest, a pen like this looks and feels like a much more expensive custom pen. And it's only 35 bucks. Uh, it comes quickly, just a beautiful feel, and I get to use the refill that I want. I, I have a bunch of these sitting at work, and the nice thing is I use these all the time. But then when I'm using my nice pens and the refill is empty, you have to order them from Waterman or Parker or whatever. And I don't even like those refills as much. So I get everything I want in the pen I want. How can you argue with that? Check it out. I'll put a link to the Grafton pen in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.